Hey, I'm Courtney Waterman, your tutor. Lover of anime, manga, and math. And you just tuned into another session of Tutor Me Senpai. Welcome back, everyone. Today we're jumping into an eighth grade topic, powers of fractions. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me put in time codes in for this video in the description box below. So use that to skip ahead to whatever part of the video you think is most interesting. As always, if you have any questions about what we see today, or even your own homework, you can always put it in the comment box below, or visit my Facebook page, at Tutumi Senpai, and tell me all about it there. At the end of this video, I'll be linking my 8th grade playlist in which I cover a lot more topics. So, if you're interested in that, make sure you stay tuned. This video will have two parts, so leave a like, smash subscribe, and let's get started! Now, if you're already familiar with how exponents work, then raising your fraction to a power or an exponent shouldn't be too difficult. However, if you do have some drawbacks or need a refresher on this topic, then I recommend you check out some other videos I have dealing with exponents to give you a little bit more information about what they are and how they work. But once you become more familiar with how exponents work, then raising your fraction to an exponent shouldn't be too difficult. And there are two ways that we're going to cover today on how to tackle this type of question. The first way is going to be a little bit more drawn out in which you're going to be pretty much writing it in expanded form. What does this actually mean at its core? The second way is going to be a little bit more compact, and we'll talk more about that afterwards. So let's first jump into that first way. We're going to remember what our exponents mean, and we're going to pretty much write this in expanded form. So depending on how big your exponent is, this can get pretty lengthy. But this is a tried and true method, and if you do your math correctly, you'll get the correct answer. So we have two thirds raised to the third power. Now, remember, if you had a whole number, let's say five cubed, this would just be five times five times five, right? You multiply this base by itself this many times. However, fractions look different, so do we do the same thing? The answer is gonna be yes. We do the same thing. So this is simply going to be 2 over 3 times 2 over 3 times 2 over 3. We have a 3 in our exponent. So we're going to pretty much replicate this base. The whole base is 2 over 3, 3 times. And now that we've done that, we just multiply across. So 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So our answer is going to have an 8 in the numerator. 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27. So our answer for this is just going to be 8 over 27. So this can be pretty quick if the exponent is smaller, but if it's a larger exponent, you can see how this can take up a lot more space. So this is going to be our expanded one, so it can take a little bit more time. However, it's tried and true. If you take your time and you do it this way, you will get the correct answer if you do your math properly. However, we have a more condensed way of doing this and we can still get that same answer. So I've rewritten what we just did and I put it all in one line because we're gonna actually use this to help us figure out that more condensed way. So we started with two thirds raised to the third power and we ended with eight over 27. However, this was our middle step. Now, if you look at this middle step, what is another way of writing this with exponents? Well, how many twos do we have? We have three twos. So if you were to write this with exponents, you can say that this is actually going to equal two to the third power. How about our denominator? How many threes do we have? The same amount, three. So we can actually write three to the third power as well. So if you're really familiar with your exponents, you may know just by looking at it that two cubed is going to be eight. And that three cubed is going to be 27. As you see, this is going to take you a little bit less time to write than our first way because we have to write as many copies as our exponent dictated. However, in this case, we're using what we know about exponents to find our answer without having to do a ton more writing. So taking a step back, what does this mean for our fractions that we're raising to our exponents? How do we just go from here to here? Well, it seems like we're distributing this exponent to both the top and the bottom. So whatever your exponent is, you're going to raise your numerator to that same exponent and your denominator to that same exponent. And that's how you're going to get to this step. And then you can evaluate that as you see fit. So let's do that for our last example for today. 
So here's our example for today. Now this looks very different from our very simple example that we just covered. It looks leaps and bounds different, but we're gonna tackle it using what we know about exponents. That means what we covered today in this video and some of what we covered in some of my previous videos. But we're gonna take it step by step to make sure we don't lose anybody. So the very first thing we notice is we have a bunch of stuff inside of parentheses that's raised to another exponent. Well, we just said whatever's inside, your fraction inside, is going to have the top and the bottom raised to this exponent. So let's do that. Let's first go there and write out what that means. So we have our top, our numerator being three to the fourth times 10 squared. Now you can multiply all that out, but let's just wait. And we're gonna raise that to the second power. And we're gonna do the same thing for our denominator. So that's 12 raised to the second power. That was our first step that we talked about in our previous example. You take the exponent, you raise the numerator to that exponent, you raise the denominator to that exponent. So now we focus on our numerator. Let's try to simplify this a little bit. Now, this is going to require us to do power of powers. So if you have no idea how to do that, I have a video that you can find right up here. Check that out at your leisure. Powers of powers is gonna help us simplify our numerator a bit. But as a quick refresher, we're going to multiply whatever the existing exponent is by this exponent. That's what we have to do when we have a power of powers. When we already have something raised to a power and we raise that to another power, we're gonna be multiplying those two powers. So this three to the fourth goes to three to the four times two, eight. And this 10 squared goes to two times two, 10 to the fourth. And all of that goes over 12 squared. So now everything has a single exponent. So let's figure out what three to the eighth is. So three to the eighth power is going to be 6,561. 10 to the fourth power is going to be 10,000. And then it's all gonna be over 144. Now you can plug all of this into your calculator and you're gonna get the final answer of 455,625. Now the answer is important, yes, but the work is what we want to focus on. How we got from here to here. At its core, raising your fraction to an exponent is just gonna be taking that numerator, no matter what it is, it can be a single number or something like this, and raising it to that same exponent as well as your denominator and raising it to that same exponent. The rest is just math that you know. So I hope you ever follow today's examples and I hope you now know how you can do your powers of fractions. However, if you have any questions about what we saw today or even your own homework, you remember you can always put it in the comment box below or visit me on my Facebook page at Tudumi Senpai and tell me all about it there. If you haven't done so already, remember to leave that like. It really helps the channel by letting YouTube know that you found this video helpful. And if you found the video helpful, so can someone else. So leave a like, hit the notification bell, smash the subscribe button, and share the video with a friend. Well, that's all the time I have for today. I'm really hoping this helped with your homework. I'm looking forward to seeing you again next week. I'm Courtney, this is your playlist, and this has been another session of Tutor Me Senpai.